the chosen one? Ugh, I swear! You two... I... Ugh! Can we just get back to the castle, okay? We can plan our next move there. Ooh! <laughs> the Chosen One is an old wives' tale made up by drunkards and dreamers. Don't let that old rubbish get inside her head, Guardian. She needs to focus. <sighs> Guardian, it's dangerous. But if it bothers you, you need to ask someone who's an expert on these things. Know anybody? There you go. Ask him free. Fr that guy. I'm sure there's more to this yarn. Anything that sounds too good to be true usually is. There's always a catch. Speak. Yes. What's up? I I'm sorry, what? Okay. I'm sorry, what? Okay.
Need something? Let's make haste and get down to business. Ingol, there are no words to express our gratitude for your help. I just want you to know. Sigun, your problems are my problems. I would never turn my back on you. Ragnar would never forgive me. Sorella will be well cared for, and I give you my word, Ingol, on my life. I know you and the Guardian will take good care of her. She'll be in good hands. But I also want Cassius to personally take responsibility for her welfare once you meet up. He is to keep her out of harm's way, never leave her side, and is not to participate in the main battle. This is non-negotiable, and I want your word on it. Of course. You have my word. An understandable, reasonable request. It was the only way to get Anji to agree. I would advise you, Rigmore, and you too, Guardian, to keep a wide berth from Falkreath for the foreseeable future, lest you end up with an arrow in your neck. We've received word from Cassius. Quintus is on our side. Once Cassius has prepared a base camp at the foot of the ridge, he will send word and await your arrival. You'll all cross the ridge and trek down through the highlands to the source of the Brenner River. Keeping to the south side, you'll follow the river and make your way to Quintus headquarters. The journey is not without its dangers. Red Guard border raiders inhabit the region, so you all must be vigilant. So that old goat has become a mountain goat. <laughs> I'm looking forward to seeing him again. But why not just travel down the Gold Coast via Skindrad? Ah. A medium-sized party would stand out. Plus, the road to Anvil has many new Imperial Army patrols. The element of surprise is vital. We don't know the full extent of Morag Cepheus' powers. Every angle must be covered if she knows you're coming. Yeah, of course. The less risk to Sorella, the better. I know the Great Forest like the back of my hand. We can pass through the forest all the way to Coral without being detected. If you are seen by any patrols, it's imperative you silence them and dispose of the bodies. Keep away from the walls of Coral. Parley with the Count will only be an option if Morag Cepheus has been defeated. Also, bear in mind, we don't know what to expect once inside Table Mountain. We have no idea how powerful the Bridge of Size might be. What it might do to you if you get too close. So keep away from its radiance. Just to make sure you've cleared the way before Sorella enters the chamber. One shot is all she needs, so make it count. Then get her the hell out of there. Understood. Just be careful, all of you. Remember, Sorella is only a child. Hey, Dad. Hey there, kiddo. Come and sit down next to me. You remember everyone here, don't you? Rigmore still looks the same. <laughs> My, how you've grown. You're such a big girl now. Hi, Sigan. I've missed everyone so much. By the way, Mom says hi. It's so cool to see you all again. It's so good to see you again, Sorella. I'm just sorry it has to be under these... circumstances. That's okay. I knew this was coming. They're waiting for me. 
Who is waiting for you, child? The children. The children in the glass house. Did these children speak to you somehow? What did they say? You're Freathalf, aren't you? How could you possibly know that? Sophia? Now then, my child, please, don't play games. What? How? You had better sit down, Freothoff. I've got a message for you from Sophia. What is it she wants to tell me, child? She said to tell you not to blame yourself. It wasn't your fault, and she misses you. Freothoff! <laughs> What kind of sorcery is this? She knows you never gave up looking for her, and she said not to be sad anymore. Sophia! <laughs> She's happy and is going home soon. They're all waiting for her. Freyathoth, do you want to retire? I'll help you to your room. No. No. I... I just... want to sit a while. Then everyone, please excuse me. I have heard enough. Sorella, if you need anything, do not hesitate to ask. Hey, Dragonborn. I've still got your bow. Look. And the ring you gave me. I took the ring off about a year ago. The voices had stopped, but when I was dreaming, Xenia came and took me to the glass house. No, Xenia doesn't live there. She's a free spirit. I have seen the glass house. Sophia is there with all the other children. I know what to do. Try telling that to my mom. <laughs> Let us reinforce our positions here and await word for Cassius. Then we can begin. I also expect some kind of response from the enemy once they realize we have Leowin's son. Come, Carice, it has been a very long day. I need to return to the encampment at the road. Get to work on those positions. Grom and Tiny will be guarding Sorella. Does she have a room already? Sorella can stay with me. That's all I need to know. Grom, Tiny, keep watch outside Rigmore's room. Hey, Sorella! Didn't you look after me once? Well, now it's my turn. You can stay with me in my room. We have so much to catch up on. Hey, that would be cool, Rigmore. Good night, Dragonborn. Oh, and I still have the pony. <laughs> Good night, Dragonborn. Too upset for talking right now. No. No, you're right. What is it you want to ask? Huh. You've come to the right man. Yes. The chosen Queen of Tamriel isn't written in parchment but rather passed down by word of mouth, by elder scholars and scribes. It all comes from hearsay, mostly. 
and isn't officially sanctioned. Now, then let me see. When Akatosh failed to save the beast races from the persecution of men, Al-Esh cursed the land. Tamriel would never have peace and prosperity until all her children were returned to her. The Minotaur have been extinct for centuries. Even if there were credence in the fable, there would be peace already. You could have thought so before all that has come to pass recently. But yet again, we are locked in perpetual struggle, as you can see. Why, well, that's, that's impossible. I By the Nine Divines. What came to pass? How? So you slew him? So you think Rigmore is the Chosen Queen? Well... She is certainly poised for greatness, especially with her royal bloodline. Daedra have a talent for playing with people's minds and lives. Why do you think this ties into the prophecy? Al-Esh. Mother of all mortals, another name for Alessia. It was she cursed the land. Not chosen one, my friend. That is something completely different. The Alessian prophecy speaks of the chosen queen of Tamriel, and Rigmore could indeed be her. It would explain the keen interest by Daedra and gods even, ever since she was born. And her bloodline to a royal dynasty helps make that theory credible. But the Chosen One, as written in the Elder Scrolls, is half beast. So I am afraid that Rigmore is not the Chosen One. In fact, when you put two and two together, you should now begin to see your own destiny entwined with that of Rigmore. The queen, chosen to deliver the one, a child of royal blood, and dragon child. May I interject and ask you a very personal question? I have noticed Rigmore is very fond of you. Have you two had relations? The last dragonborn, half beast, half human. The minute our Lord spared you because that too is in the prophecy, isn't it? That only a half beast brother, or sister in your case, could release the curse. Have you not said yourself you have seen things no other has seen, how it all seems contrived? Nothing is impossible and beyond what can be imagined. You could never have married her anyway. Well, actually you could have. On the surface it would have appeared normal. But you could never have had children. The price paid would be too much of a burden to bear. Bearing a dragon child would... <clears throat> Rigmore would be destined to die in childbirth. Her body a vessel 
to be discarded, sacrificed for the whim of the gods, bearing them their chosen one. Apart from Alessia, every woman who ever tried to bring into the world a half-human, half-beast child has perished. It's almost as if the cruelty of the gods knows no bounds. None has ever survived, not even your... <clears throat> Forgive me, I, I have spoken too much already. I am so sorry, Dragonborn, truly I am. However, I must retire. It's been a very long day. Maybe you should try finding solace at the cathedral. Ask the priest within about what we've spoken of. It may help you find what you're looking for. What's the hurry? Yes. When your strength fails you, trust in the Nine. I sense you carry a heavy burden, my child. Let Lord Akatos help carry the load, if only for a short while. The light will always find a way into every aspect of the dark. Tell me what is troubling you, my child. Speak freely, as this is a place of sanctuary, a house of truth. Now you fear that you might be the one who places them in danger. That's not entirely true. Being Dragonborn does not make you half-beasts. Becoming Dragonborn is a gift bestowed from Akatosh, not a divine birthright. As I understand it, there has never been a dragon child born to a mortal, where I assume the gift of Akatosh is already bestowed from divine lineage. How can you be sure it would not save her? Your mother's love is with you always. She looks down upon you from the heavens, and is pleased with her daughter. All you have to do is look to her and ask what it is you want. And it shall be so. A weary traveler carries a heavy burden and comes upon a fork in the road. There are many untrodden paths, but they can only choose one. They know not where the paths lead, but they will arrive at the same destination. There is always a way out. This is a hallowed place, and the Divines are listening. Ask them what it is you wish for in the hope that it shall be forthcoming. If this is what you wish, then it shall be so. 
but there might be a price to be paid for what you wish. You will know when the time comes, but until then, there shall be signs to follow and tasks to be done. But know this, the path you have chosen will arrive at the same place. Go forth and fulfill your destiny, knowing that you, too, are blessed also. When you carry the load of others as well as your own, the Nine shall help carry your burden. Be reassured that they look upon you always, and are proud of their daughter, and are well pleased. Well met. How can I help you? Are you looking for counsel? What other priest? It's only me here. Yes, 